Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Vive Jet Flame Torch. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is a Vive Jet Flame Torch or windproof lighter. And just taking a look around the details of this glittery grey box packaging. It's nice to see that the box is recyclable as it is made out of cardboard. Now let's go ahead and open it up by lifting up the box lid and just setting the lid to the side. Let's set it on the right hand side of the table and giving you a look directly inside the box. Now let's set the contents out across the tabletop. So you have a full and clear view of the items from this Vive Jet Flame Torches box packaging. So just resetting the box on the right hand side and laying the contents out across the tabletop. So these are the contents from the Vive Jet Flame Torches box packaging. So there's a packet of silica gel or desiccant. Let's set that to the side and keep that away from babies, children, and animals. And next, we do have what appears to be an instruction booklet or leaflet. And just giving you a look as to the thickness and size of this instruction manual or booklet. It does come with a guarantee as well and just setting that to the side and now moving on to the Vive jet flame torch and let's remove it from its clear plastic packet and setting that to the side so straight away I can feel the coldness of this torch because it does have an aluminium alloy body so giving you some sense of the size and scale of this torch resting in my palm so it does measure 15 and a half centimeters long and it does have a two centimeter diameter so you, we can see that this has an anodized red finish and just giving you a look at all the various aspects of this windproof lighter or jet flame torch. And let's do a 360 rotation so you have a full and clear view of this torch and hopefully it is in focus. Otherwise, let's do it up close. at the various aspects of this torch or lighter. So to give you some idea of the material, once again, aluminium alloy. It weighs approximately 58 grams. Now let's take a close-up look at the details of this torch so at the base or bottom we can see that it does have appears to be the gas inlet or gas refill valve as well as a lever that folds away to adjust the flame intensity you can see indicated with a plus and a minus on opposite ends. And there is a fuel window as well. And of course, we can see the Vive branding. And there is a switch as well to operate this jet flame torch. And just taking a look around the top or front and directly inside the nozzle or tip of this lighter. So the 
this time around giving you a look on the opposite side. Right there. So it does have an overall metal body, but of course there are plastic elements to it as well. The switch and the back or base of the lighter. And let's turn it on. Of course, having a look inside the fuel window, we can see that there doesn't appear to be any contents. And that's as advertised as well. So no butane gas contained for safety shipping purposes okay let's flick the switch nonetheless to see what it's like so you can hear that click and just giving you a look right there and of course knowing that there is no flammable butane gas in there just leaving my hands and fingers at the front and giving you a look at the ignition before we fill it with gas and test it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill it with gas. So over here, I have a Bull Brand butane gas canister. It is a 200 mil gas canister. Let's pop the lid off and of course, keeping the gas refill valve pointed upwards and the nozzle of the gas canister down and of course just setting on the tabletop for a bit of stability and you can see that there is a little bit of leakage or dripping nonetheless let's try again And let's check the window. We can see that there is noticeable amounts of liquid in that little glass window. Just giving you another look as I tilt and angle the lighter. You can see the fluid shifting about in there, or at least a bubble. And let's give it a little bit more of butane gas. And of course, checking that window once again. And of course, the valve itself. So you can see there is some frosting on the valve that cold condensation right there just brushing that away so you can see so now that there is some gas in this vive jet flame torch let's go ahead and test it out by of course flicking the switch and here we go and you can see that flame right there so having to keep my thumb on the switch to keep it lit and just giving you a look you can see that length of that flame right there and very straight and true and of course I want to be careful here not to burn myself or anything around and just removing my finger off the switch you can see that the flame stays on just for a brief moment and let's check the gas in the fuel window and we can see that there is a good amount of butane gas in there let's spark it up again so this time around giving you a look top down you can see how it lights up very very nicely and of course we have to keep it 
held to maintain the flame. I can look at the length of that flame and the noise that this windproof lighter makes. And releasing that switch, it slowly recedes. And of course, let's test it out on a candle. So over here, I have a candle I use for pagan purposes, such as summoning my brother Jimmy. Let's light it up. And of course, right there you can see the strength of that flame melting the candle as well. Trying to light it up. And just feeling around the front, I can feel it is hot around the neck. of the lighter but nonetheless there is a separation with the black plastic part which keeps the rest of the lighter nice and cool to handle. So that's the Vive Jet Flame Torch. Thanks for watching and happy lighting!